Hello Aaron with Growlon, UglyWeeds.com. Today I'm bringing you with me on my adventures through Mansfield, Texas, doing my property evaluations, quality control. And today I'm visiting this property here in Mansfield and it's got some trouble spots as you can see. Dry spot right there and got other spots, of course, near the back fence. Um, parts of the, the front yard look okay. And then if I step back, the part between the sidewalk and the road look okay. And the soil moisture here is really good. Okay, so it's probably just an irrigation uh, problem. A, a sprinkler head down or a zone not working, but let's see the difference. So this is one-handed. So I get my soil probe in the ground fairly deep. So the moisture there is really good. Oh, pull that out. Didn't pull much of a plug. It's, it's really wet and clay and sometimes it happens. No big deal. So clay retains water real good. Bad part, when it gets dry, it gets hydrophobic like this area. This area here. I don't have shine with me. But let's uh, take a soil probe on this one. One-handed. Uh, I'm putting all my weight on it. I'm not even able to get in the ground. Try another spot. Ugh. Nothing. So this is just not getting water. The sprinkler system's not running properly. It's not chin bugs, it's not grubs. It's just lack of water. Because if we go over here, different, different section, St. Augustine's looking really good. And I'm just gonna take another, see how that goes in, easy. And that's the way your soil moisture should be. And that's the way the grass should look. It's September 18th, about somewhere in there, 2019. And your sprinkler system is really gonna show all its imperfections this time of year when it's 95 to 105. And so here's one of those imperfections here. I'm glad I came out to visit the property and let the customer know to check their sprinkler system. Over here, they got a little section of Bahia grass. This is a new customer. Uh, well, I tend to go out and check out new customers a couple months after we've been treating them. But as you can see, the Bahia grass is turning a little yellow. We treated it about a week ago. It's really, and Bahia grass is really rare for this time of year, or not time of year, this area. It's mainly something that's grown a lot further east, like Florida, Georgia, those areas are grow Bahia grass. And down in the Florida Keys, even. But here, it's pretty rare. It's almost, I'm almost wondering if they somebody planted that intentionally with seed. It's a bad thing about buying seed uh, at a box store is sometimes the advertisements are very misleading and you buy something that shouldn't be in your yard, unfortunately. If you have any questions about sprinklers or moisture depth, bahia grass, brown patch or anything like that, give us a call or reach us on our website at uglyweeds.com. And yes, I'm chewing gum. <laughs> Please forgive me. See you on the next one. Bye.